I was going out with a younger guy. He was like a hunky kind of athlete, a baseball player. Little League. But, um... <laughs> it is, yeah. He, he dumped on me, though. Do you feel bad? Do you? No? Don't, because he's dead now, okay? And I ran into him recently. You ever run into an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend and you look at them and you say to yourself, was I in a deranged, psychopathic dementia? That's happened to you, right, hon? You had that laugh of recognition. Was I in a complete psychotic state when I was having sex with this man every night, twice on Fridays? I don't know. <laughs> or then you have that scary moment of mortification where you look at him and you think to yourself, Ugh, I talked baby talk to this man. It's so scary. But um, what's your name? David. David. You're very handsome. I like you just like sitting there watching me and wanting me and knowing you could never have me. This guy, the younger guy, was an Italian guy from the Bronx. And what used to turn me on about him, David, was the way he talked, which was like an animal, basically. Like, he would call me up, he'd say, so. I'll be over your house a tree. And this would turn me on. Or he would say, so. I gotta go to the bedroom. And I would get all moist and excited by this, folks. This is my favorite thing. But then... He left me for a younger woman. He left me for a 17-year-old from the South Bronx. <laughs> President of the Menudo fan club, folks. <laughs> I met her. She was like, you know, like, I love Menudo, and she, right? <laughs> you people, Phil Donahue, right up front. You're probably looking at me, right? <laughs> Thinking I have a really easy job to be president of the Menudo fan club. You think that, right? No. It's a really hard job because there's a lot of controversy and shit, okay? Okay, for example. Some people in the fan club say that Menudo is like really fine and sexy, and some people say, no, that's not true. They say they're more like, like cute and adorables, all right? All right, let me ask you a question, all right? This lady right here, what's your name? Okay, Eileen, let me ask you. <laughs> Let's say you had to make a decision. This is just like a hypodermical situation. And you have to decide if Menudo is fine or cute. You would have a really hard time, right? Okay, you see what a controversial issue this is? I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, guys, you're so nice. <laughs> That's who he left me for. Do you feel bad? No, you don't care. You know what? I don't care, because the only thing I remember about the entire relationship for the whole time I was with him was every night in bed doing this. What are you doing? That's all I remember.